I know Christianity has taught us that everything, or oh, what peace we often forfeit, and oh, what needless pain we bear, all because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. But sometimes you got to get off your knees and go have an adult conversation. Stop, stop praying and deal with it. Look at your neighbor and say, just deal with it. Um, responsible. I'm going to just tattletale to God. And he be going, girl, bye. The same issue you having with them is the same issue I have with you. So a responsible way to release, we there is safety in many counsel. Find someone. Now, my mentees and my daughters, y'all raise your hand in this house. When y'all come to me with stuff, is my response always, okay, okay. <laughs> they, they be, hey, because I'm going through, going through what? How long are you going to be going through? When you get to the other side? You you going and we got to a destination yet? Responsible, find someone who will challenge you, who will change you, and who will charge you. Woo! They'll challenge you. They will change you. And what was number three? They will charge you up and not just charge you up. They will give you a charge, meaning they'll tell you, now go do this. Now go fix your face. Now go cry and then get it together. Now after tomorrow, I don't want to hear about this again. We're not about to have this saying, okay, I get it. And we, we have looked at this from 20 angles. Can we finally do something about it? Number three, trace the tree, then remove the root. <laughs> Y'all want to trace every tree but the right one. I don't really care about everybody trying to, ooh, because I'm going to Ancestry.com. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you, there's also a spirit that follows your family. You need to trace that one too. So you can break bloodlines. Trace the tree. If there's trauma in your family through your mama, so you can start making decrees and declarations over the spirit of a thing. Trace the tree, not so that you can have blame, so that you can put it up at the root. If you know that your family has been under a spirit of perpetual poverty, trace the tree and find out where was the last, where was the last millionaire at in my family? The last entrepreneur in my family? Because I need to go back to that one and call that spirit back into my bloodline. We're missing it. We trace the tree so that we can remove the root. And last but not least, And, and those that know me know I've taught this. Stop giving access without instructions. Last but not least, how do you reinforce your rational? Stop giving access without instructions. You got to start putting a plan together. I call this, I taught this, if you guys watched the 22 things to leave in 2022, the number one thing I said to leave is a lack of a personal constitution. I don't know how to treat you. That's your job to teach me. And so you guys give people access to you, but you don't give them instructions. I have to say, this is how you talk to me. This is how you address me. This is what I need from you. And then you give the person permission to say whether they can handle it or not. Then you have a choice. Either I'm going to exercise patience, if you're willing to do better with it, or I'm going to say, y'all, yeah, may the Lord watch between me and thee while we are absent. I'm trying to help y'all. Because you have to shift your, uh, you have to shift your environment. Um, and so profitability pre prejudice, these are the three ways that it shows up in our life. If you want to begin shifting and we're getting ready.